Hello there, hello, and welcome back to JavaScript in which we are adding yet some more methods to your actual utility belt within JavaScript. Today we're going to be covering the class name, actually the get elements by class name method. So let's go on ahead and get your favorite text editor open and let's get started. So we can figure out how to work through the actual DOM and select tags by not the ID, but by the actual class name itself. All right, I'll go on ahead and close this out and we can get started. See you there. Okay, all right, so now what we got, what we're going to do here is select the actual HTML structures or the actual DOMs using the actual class name itself. And in order to do that, let's actually show a little bit of markup here. So before when we were actually working with this, we actually used the ID of the actual tag. So uh, let's actually put a little markup up here. And actually first, how about we actually create the files we're going to work with. Let's see what we got here. I don't need to be in here, but let's close this out. All right, let's create two files here. We're going to call it, um, <laughs> well, that's a long name. Let's try get element, get elements by class name dot CSS. Okay, and we'll just copy that name as well. All right, and we'll paste and say get elements by class name. I can make this a little bigger so you can actually see. So we got the get elements by class name dot CSS. We'll do dot JS and we'll do get elements by class name dot HTML. All right. So now that we have that, let's actually, it's pretty much going to be the same HTML that we actually had in the previous one. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually paste in some markup for well, first I'll do the bare bones okay and I'm actually going to add in the link or actually the uh, style sheet so let's see that was get element by class name and we're going to add the script okay add the source that was get element by class name dot js will defer that for any HTML to actually load first and then from there I'm going to paste in the exact HTML that we actually have from the previous video voila and of course give yourself a second to type that in just pause the video I know everyone hates when we paste stuff in but this is the exact um, the exact markup that we're actually going to use and so what do we got here? We have, well, let's actually open it up with live server so we can take a look. And it actually is gonna look a little crazy because we don't have the actual styles there as well. But let's just open this up. Okay, I'll we'll slide this over here, place this here. Okay, so there's our TV shows, Family Guy, Transformers, Friends, and Seinfeld. Uh, we were talking about the DOM tree in the previous videos in which the, we have the actual, uh, the, the actual HTML elements. We have the actual attributes, or actually the actual HTML nodes, which are the actual elements themselves. Uh, we have the attribute nodes, which are the actual classes or the actual IDs. Um, and then of course we have the text nodes as well, which is the text within the actual elements. So we were working with that and then we uh, previously selected the actual items or the list item by using the actual ID. But today we're not going to actually do that. Today we're going to actually use the get element by class name method. So let's go on ahead and actually do that. And what we're going to do here, um, we got this all set. Uh, let's go on ahead and just kind of make this look a little bit better with the actual styles and let's add a little a little bit of styles here just to make this look a little better and I think what I'm going to do as well I'm gonna paste this in as well and then what you can do is just pause your video 
okay and what you can do now is just type that in it's, gonna, it's not gonna take too long if you were working on the previous video then you already have it okay and now what we can do is give yourself a second to type that in obviously you uh, probably used magical internet time and just paused the video and typed it in all right so before what we did is okay we actually we we actually selected the actual elements using the get element by id and then we added the class of cool to the actual background that was from the previous video in this case what we're going to do is taking a look at our markup we have two classes here uh, both the same uh, so we have class warm and we have class warm here so instead of selecting by id we're going to select select by the actual class name so let's go to the actual uh, JavaScript and what we're going to do is say let the element okay equal and last time we did get element by ID but we're not selecting the the actual uh, element by ID we're going to select elements by the class name and I'll move this down so we can actually take a look at the actual HTML at the same time. Close this out and we can take a look and see that we have two elements with the class of warm. So we should be able to get a node list because there now we're going to be selecting more than one element. So let's use the actual class name of warm. Okay. Now that we have that, that object, the entire object itself should actually create a node list. And then, of course, that value should be placed within our element variable. So let's open up our console. And you can do that by right clicking anywhere on the screen and clicking inspect. And I'm going to type in my element variable here. Element okay and so what do we see here we have a collection of okay we have an li here so at uh, position zero so it's very similar to an array and another um list item with the class of warm as well okay and it also says that there's a length of two so we can obviously just do element and dot length and we get two and which is which matches up with the actual HTML that we have here so now what we can do we can actually get access to that so let's use uh, an if statement to actually scroll through that all right so we can say if uh, we'll go element we just tested the element dot length so if element dot length is greater than one okay then well obviously we already know that we have more than two um, or actually we have two um, so if the element dot length is greater than one let's say let array of elements uh, let's see array of elements equal element and which one is it going to be the one in the first position which is zero or one we can choose either or Okay, if I do zero, we all know that arrays begin um, with uh, with an index of zero, which is going to be the first index. And in our case, the first index is going to be the first element that has a class of warm. Okay, and then what we can do with that, if I move our CSS to the right up here so we can take a look at that, we know that we have a class of cool okay so right now we are working with the first result which is going to be this item right here all right and then what we're going to do is say you know what let the array of elements okay which is this one right here transformers and transformers all right and then we're going to add a class name to that and in our css file the class name is cool which should add a background color okay and there you go looking on the left of the screen we have the actual transformers uh, list item or the list item with the class name of warm with the background of light blue and the reason why that happened is what it's 
we have the element, the first element in the actual array, um, which is this one here. Okay. And if I just close this a little bit so we can see the rest of that. Okay. Just to kind of recap, we are looking for any element that actually has a class name of warm, which class, which elements have a class name of warm? These two. Now, why is it that both of them are not actually uh, given the background of blue? Because we are, we actually receive, when we do this here, uh, our element variable here has a node list. And in that node list, it has two list items. So if we take a look in our class name, or not in the actual console, when I go element, okay, what do we actually have here? We have, um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I think my element changed here. Element zero. Oh, well, here, actually, let's do this. Element dot zero. Okay, which is the uh, first one that actually comes up. Um, and if I do element dot uh, one. Okay, and that actually comes up as zero. So let's see, what do we got here? Let me, oh, comment this out. Okay, and retype in element. Clear this out. Okay, element, looks like I got a collection of two. If I hit enter, okay, now I can see that I have one and two. All right, and you can actually see up in the actual uh, browser up, up here, we can see that I have a list item selected here and a list item selected here. All right, but in the actual JavaScript, we are only choosing the element of the one with the actual, in, in, in the actual first position of the actual array. Okay, now if I comment this out, and if we want the friends list item to be highlighted, which is the second value within that node list, then I'm going to need to change this zero to one. And now we see that the friends list item or the second list item with the class of warm is then actually selected and given the array name of cool, um, or actually, I'm sorry, the actual CSS class name of cool and that class name actually says anything uh, that has this class name give it a background of the light blue so there you have it um yeah another way to actually add uh, or actually select anything by the actual class name itself um in the next video i believe we're going to try to select elements by the tag name so the actual name of the actual element itself so um let's go on ahead and get to the next video and take a look at that all right other than that full stack out